What's going on everybody? My name is John Hammond and welcome back to some more Miter CTF. Uh, the competition is about to end. I spent the last like five hours just recording these videos, so that's why I've been like swagging out in the bathrobe. Hope that's cool. <laughs> um, I'm going to tackle Web 150, which I believe is the last thing I can cover here that I have solved. Um, I don't know if the game will remain open or if the challenges will remain accessible, but I wanted to share what I could, and I'm really looking forward to these write-ups for stuff that I didn't solve, because the forensics one is fascinating, the QVR code is really cool, uh, I want to look at the binary stuff, etc., etc. So, this challenge is called My First Blog. The description is, I wish Canonical would release a blog platform that make everything so easy to use and just works. So, this is my blog. So it's just a spot for me to talk about how much I love Canonical. I love Canonical. As someone who's getting started with Linux, I love Canonical. There's a, they build the easiest to use Linux distribution I can find. They build so many useful tools. I've tried out Juju, Bazaar, Ubuntu, Launchpad, and learning PHP. I recently learned about PHP, and I can't stop switching everything over to it. In fact, the blog is now powered completely by PHP, I think. I changed the file extension at least and added a little PHP code below here. That should pretty much do it. I have the PHP code commented out, though, since I can't seem to get it to work. Okay, so we could try, and I had done this for a while, just try to go to index.php or PHP2 or PHP3, etc. Um, is the service, oh, oh, looks like it's just not going to respond because there's nothing there. That makes sense. So I tried robots.txt, you know, your low-hanging fruit for a regular web challenge. I tried, if that will ever turn me down, cool. Uh, I tried .git, etc. And I didn't get anything with that, um, but it got me thinking about this. And this is this is after lots and lots of testing, of brute forcing different file extensions, of running Durbuster, of running GoBuster, of running Durb, of anything I could get my hands on. It felt like I didn't have a foothold here, so I just kept staring at it, kept staring at the challenge prompt, uh, and I kept seeing Canonical. And I'm like, why the heck are they talking about Canonical? Uh, and why do they have these references to Bizarre, Ubuntu, Launchpad, and stuff? So... Um, I tried to Google some of these. I tried to say, like, is, is it Juju? What is that? It, okay, that's not what I wanted. Is it... What is what is bizarre? I know it's a version control system. They're yelling at GitHub, so what... Why? Does... Normally, it's there's a web challenge where there's a publicly accessible .git directory, and that way you could, you could download it and work with it. So, I was like, what the heck is... Why, why is Launchpad in there? Why is Canonical in there? Why is Bizarre in there? So, I tried to Google a little bit more about Bizarre, and... Okay, Bizarre, how about Launchpad? Yeah, that gives me a little bit more information. Okay, great. That's probably why I was talking all the stuff about Canonical, because if I actually Google Bazaar Canonical, you'll be pointed in the right direction. It's a version control system, and if you go to check it out, you can find that it is very, very similar to... Uh, here's the user guide. Okay, cool. I wanted to get the documentation. I want to learn all about it because maybe maybe this is what I should be looking for. Are there files that are being left as artifacts on on the website that I could just be able to read and work with? So I actually tried it to work with, with Bazaar. I went, up, went ahead and installed it. It was BZR. So you can sudo... Let me open up, sorry. sudo apt install BZR, and then that would let you work with it. I'm on Ubuntu, whatever distro or packet manager that you need, but I went into my temp directory and I created something with BZR. I had, I don't know if it's still there, probably in a reboot killed it, yeah. Created Bazaar, a directory, and then I went into it and I tried to use BZR init. So for the longest time, I was like, what else is in this? What does it do? Does it have anything like Git does? And it does. It has a dot BZR. So I said, let's take a look at what that is. Is that in there? Is that accessible? Is that a thing? Really anticlimactic here with the lag, but yeah, okay, forbidden. That's totally a file. We're just not allowed to access it. So for the longest time, for like four or five, probably, okay, not four or five hours, but maybe one or two hours, I was like, what do I do? What else can I find in here? Can I check, can I check the readme? What are, what are these files that I can access? And that would load, and I'd be able to work with it. Um, I could check out the branch format. I could check out repository. Um, I started to read through a lot of these things. So grep, tack r, anything, just to see what kind of information and files might be accessible. Like dir state looks like something that I could read, and that would be able to like grab things out of if you wanted to check out in dir state, etc. 
Because what I wanted to do, in, 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 all, in all Ultimatum, what I wanted to do was to use something like Git Tools. Internet Wish's Git Tools. Because that has a script, and I've, I've used it many times before. You've probably seen me cover it. It has a Git dumper. So given a URL that has a publicly accessible .git directory, it could just download and work through all those files. It just pull them down. And I thought, well, I don't know if there's a thing like that for a bazaar. I kept Googling for it. I kept trying to find it. I couldn't track it down. So I thought, well, do I just have to figure out how these pack files and objects merge together? How does that work? Uh, so I would try to, in my bazaar file, and this is this is all tangential. This is not the, the way to get the flag right now is super easy, um, but I just wanted to explain to you my mindset because a lot of people tell me they like hearing about that for some reason. They're like, how did you solve that problem? What made you, what brought you to that conclusion? Um, whatever. So let's just touch a file. Let's say file and let's go ahead and get at it. I'm sorry, BZR at it. Wow. BZR that file. Cool. And then we could BZR commit. Cool. And that's fine. Um, anything as our like message and then we can bzr log and we can see it there we have a revno and i'm assuming that is a revision number uh, a lot like kind of a sha1 hash or the the commit id messages that 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 git would have so peculiar right i thought now let's take a look at the internals now let's move into the .bzr file and see what else is here that i didn't have before now i have some packed files that i would have been able to work with or or, or find so i'm curious where would I be able to determine these things? Uh, I wanted to see, is this pack name available literally anywhere? So I would try and like run find and then wow read line to determine all the files that I could look at. I would try and run strings on that line and I would uh, do done. And then I would try and grep for that string to be able just to determine it, but it didn't seem to be anywhere. Even what looked to be the dir state when I downloaded this earlier, this hash looks similar, but it's not the same. So I couldn't track down where that pack file was. Me as a human being, like me as a person, I could not do it. And then my roommate, Caleb, Alyssa Tiger, best dude in the world. I'm happy he was tackling the CTF with me because he's like, well, this is stupid. Why are we trying to correlate how this can be pieced and puzzled together when Bazaar obviously knows how to do it. Is there a way to like get clone in Bazaar? Uh, and then we got to that, that notion where yes, it absolutely is possible. You can run BZR branch given a location. And if we just gave it the URL here or this, this actual address, it will try and look at it as if it were a repository because it is because the dot BZR file is there and it just needs a directory to put it all in. So let's just say um, files. So now it downloads it, moves into files, and there is our index.php. If you wanted to, you could BZR log, see what we're looking with, and these are all things you could have found in the internals if had you just like requested that file in the web browser. But because we're able to use this with Bazaar, we can download the file, work with it as if it's a real repository, because it is. So now let's cat index.php, and there is the flag. So cool, right? Uh, I don't have time to cover, at least I don't know if I'll have time to cover, to solve or even continue to working on Web 200. But from what I understand, uh, if you pull that one down, actually, I can't, I don't know. I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to ble bleed th that topic and concept, that challenge into this video. I don't want to do that. But this is the flag for this challenge. You could submit that. And for the second one, it's the exact same thing where you have the blogging platform with a little bit more repository information. Um, there are a lot more revision numbers and stuff to look through, and it goes into some Bitcoin addresses, and I have yet to solve it. Don't know if I'll be able to. I don't know if the challenges are going to remain up and available. But uh, I thought that was very cool because I'd never worked with Bazaar before. I had no idea what I was doing, <laughs> and I was just trying to put the puzzle pieces together. And it took some cool insight and epiphany to be like, why can't I just download it? Why can't, I, why can't Bazaar do what I am trying to do? And it can. I just need to learn how. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope it was fun. There's that flag. You can go ahead and jot it down, submit it, save this knowledge for later, tuck it away in your brain. And uh, 
Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoying these. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. I'd love to see you in the Discord server. There's a link in the description. It's a cool party place full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You can hang out with me and some other cool people that are super duper smart. Uh, we'll, we'll tackle some capture the flag ch competitions um, in the voice chat, and it's just a party. It's the party place to be. So come on and jam. It's the space jam. I'd uh, love to see you on Patreon, love to see you on PayPal. I am so grateful for all of your support and what you do to help keep this afloat, keep me going, keep this channel going. So thank you. Love, love you guys. I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'm going to end the video now because it's getting weird.